Welcome back to another video, YouTube. I am Mike. I'm Vanessa. Today we're going to be doing a video on a recent Goodwill trip that we went on. Um, it was actually thrifting by the pound. Not uh, every piece didn't have an individual price tag on it. There's this place up in Queens. It's incredible. It's a little bit dirty, but that makes it more fun. It's the the chase, the dig is what makes it fun. So today we're going to be showing you our haul that we got from that. And then we're going to be trying it on, showing you how the pieces look on body. And that's about it. We have a little bit of an update on the giveaway at the end. So stay tuned and um, yeah. here we go. We're going to start with bottoms. I'll start. Um, so I got, these are the first pants I got. I've been looking for like the perfect flared pants and I found them. And they're also the perfect length. They look really good with my Ricks, which you'll see later. And yeah, they're just super basic and I can wear them all year round. So I'm really happy I found these. My first bottoms pickup is actually this pair of women's corduroys. It's this navy pair of corduroys. Since they're women's, they are a little bit cropped on me, but I like cropped pants. I never really wear anything that's too long. And these are also flared a little bit, which is a good look. Um, navy, something I don't wear too much. Corduroy, something I don't have in my wardrobe. So this is something fun to experiment with. I mean, when you go to places like this, that's really what you should be looking for. Fun pieces that you don't have that you can experiment with. And these are a really good color too. Yeah, so yeah. I like these. That is my first pant pickup. Yeah. All right. So the next pant I got are these brown flare pants. They're like the same shape as the other ones, but they're just way too long on me. So I'm gonna have to get them fixed. But um, yeah, they're actually pretty good quality. Well, eh, kind of. But yeah, I really do like brown pants. So got those. So my next pair of pants I'm currently wearing right now. It is this pair of women's um, white scrub pants. So it's this woman's pair of scrub pants. It's They're super lightweight, super comfortable, something great for the spring. They're a little see-through, but fuck it, you can let everyone see your underwear. Word. If you got the, the preem real tree joints, people can see those, you can flex. But um, all jokes aside, it's just the easy pair of pants to wear in the spring, summer, and I've been liking white pants a lot more recently, so I grabbed them. All right. I can't rip this off, okay. but then I got these just fun pants to wear at night. Shiny, velvety, and cute, and mm. soft, so couldn't resist. Matchy. <laughs> Alright, so now we're done with bottoms, so we're going to move on to the tops. I have two, and first I'm going to start with my favorite pickup from the whole bunch. It is this sweater I'm wearing right now. It, um, it's this beautiful like brown nutmeggy color, but it has kind of a melange to it. There's hits of um, like green, some red, some burgundies, even a little bit of pink, um, all woven into the fabric. So it creates a really nice color. The reason that I was drawn to it is it looks a lot like some of the acne sweaters and acne knits that we do. For the price point you pay, might as well just grab it. Um, I got, I just randomly found this black super thin tank top. Um, I wish I got this earlier, earlier in the season because it's cute over turtlenecks which I wear literally every day. But um, I'll be wearing this all the time now, just under a button down or on top of a short sleeve shirt. Super cute and easy to wear. Alright, so for my other top, it is super easy. It's just this gray Carhartt long sleeve Henley. Um, something really good for the spring summer. You could just throw it over, throw it on top. You could wear some denim. Honestly, just wear whatever down below. It's something really easy. Probably wouldn't step out in this much unless I'm just like running to the corner store or, you know, this is good for when you're hanging around the house, like doing homework or just having like a lazy day. So something, uh, something super easy. I wonder if Vanessa's going to keep that when she edits the video. <laughs> and, um, yeah, Carhartt long sleeve. The last top I got is this button down that I originally wasn't going to get, but last minute I decided to get it. Um, has a little patch on it from the Columbus Transit. And I'm going to wear this as a dress probably in the summer. Um, yeah. And it's super long on me, so I just love it. And I love the collar. Alright, so now we're done with tops. Now we're going to move on to our 
final section, which is outerwear, I guess. Vanessa has two, I only yeah. have one, so she can start. She'll be back. Alright, but this puffer, which I wish I got earlier in the season because now it's getting warmer and I'm not even going to wear this, but um, it's reversible so I'm probably going to wear it more with the white on the outside. The white is awesome. Yeah, and the white matches perfectly with Rick's, the Rick off-white color, so... Yeah, so it's just perfect. I love the hood because it transitions real nice from the coat up. Yeah, and it's super warm. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So for my outerwear pickup, it is this um, leather overcoat. The leather's super buttery. I shouldn't say leather. It's probably faux leather. Let me let's check the tag. Get the deets. Genuine leather. Oh shit! Never mind. So. <laughs> It is this um, genuine leather overcoat. The leather is like ridiculously buttery. It is so also, smooth. Also, did you know that these are real leather? Really? Yeah. That's fire. Yeah. Alright, so I got this genuine leather overcoat. Um, kind of trenchy, leaning more towards an overcoat. A um, little bit oversized on me. The shoulders are a little bit too big. It's exaggerated, but it's a cool look. It's kind of similar to that um, like exaggerated shoulder pads that Balenciaga has done. Um, also Vetma, um, those brands share a lot of similarities just because of Demma's working at both. Also, who else has done some exaggerated shoulder pieces? It's just been super mm -hmm. popular recently. Yeah. So um, it's a cool look. It looks good on her too because it's super big. But just something easy. Last coat I got is this aqua crazy bright blue um, super lightweight coat. It's by Worthington. Obviously, you can see it's super cheap or old just because that's chipping at the collar, but it looks super dope and I'm really liking it like this. Probably, no, honestly, could have gotten like this because I washed this. Yeah, it probably is what it is. And I'm very happy that it turned out that way. But it looks and cool because it looks a lot like the Margiela pieces um, where he paints completely over the piece and then like the paint cracks and it creates that really cool look. The piece you're most probably familiar with is the Converse that he's done, but he's done a lot of better pieces, like he's done denim that's hand painted and some derbies that are hand painted. But it's a similar vibe and I mean basically yeah. free when you go here, so might as well grab it. Yeah, and this will look cool like on top of just an oversized t-shirt in the spring. Yeah, that would be really yeah. cool. So that just about wraps up our video. We're going to head outside now, show you how these pieces look on body, shoot a little bit on the rooftop. And um, just want to talk a little bit about the giveaway. If you haven't um, seen already, go check out our other video. I'll link it in the description where I'm talking about the giveaway. We're giving away two of these belts, which you can see right here on Vanessa. It's just a genuine leather grommet belt. So we're giving away two of them. All you have to do to enter is subscribe to us. And number two, on that other video, not this one, comment your favorite thing you picked up recently and also your waist size. And as soon as we hit 100 subscribers, I'll be randomly drawing. I'll live stream that. I'll go live on Instagram. But I'll be randomly drawing two winners. So stay tuned for that. And also you wanted to add something, right? Yeah, comment below on this video questions for an upcoming Q&A. I'm going to post my Instagram here, her Instagram right here. Um, we'll be posting an official picture uh, upcoming pretty soon, asking you guys to ask us questions for a Q&A. So just be sure to follow us there to stay updated. And um, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed the video. And finally, leave a comment for us. And until next time, we will see you guys later. Bye. Peace. <laughs>